back here on the ASTV Sports Talk Show. We have joining us now Mr. Rod Ledahowski. I hope I said that correct. You did. From Toulon Collegiate, uh, a school that's 7 to 12, about 210 students, you said. Yes. Rod, you are the phys ed teacher there. Tell me the importance, first off, of beginning skill sets for players in all different sports and all aspects of sport. Well, we're a firm believer at Toulon Collegiate to give the kids a rounded uh, background in, in different sports, which dictates different skills. You go from the volleyball where you're doing the bumping, the setting, and the spiking, which translates right into the basketball now where they're doing a little more running, a little more passing, a little bit of shooting. And then that leads into uh, the badminton, which is the arm swing, uh, foot speed, foot coordination, and then we end up with track. So it just kind of goes from one skill set to the other, building on uh, fitness management that way. So which sports do you coach outside of being a part of the phys ed, pro being the phys ed program at Toulon? I uh, start off with in the fall with uh, volleyball. I do the JV girls and the varsity girls together. Then I move into, this year I did the junior high basketball. And then I went into badminton, varsity badminton. So the badminton players this year, they had a pretty good season thus far? We did. We uh, went up to provincials in Thompson. Uh, we had a uh, boys singles uh, or boys doubles came third in the province. Uh, girls doubles team came fourth in the province. So they did very well this year, and that's probably something that attributed to you know the coaching, but also the fact that you are teaching them a skill set in other sports, correct? Yes, because they go our badminton season so short that we're taking athletes and really fine tuning their skills in about a month and a half, and we're competing against the whole province, four uh, A schools, single A schools. And to get these athletes, you, you have to be athletic to be uh, that finish that well at the province. No doubt. So you talk about the, the phys ed programs off, obviously during the school time. How does the schedule for these players, for these students, when they perform these extracurriculars, how does that match well with their uh, education and their academics? Uh, it's, it's, it works hand in hand. We find that uh, their time management skills, they have to, you know, they're doing homework on cars, they're doing homework... Uh, all the time because they are busy after school they're busy on weekends so their time management they really have to focus on the athletics uh, and then they have to focus on the academics and it seems to go hand in hand for the most part we are, our student athletes do a great job of managing time sure so because Toulon's had its own catchment area it's, it's pretty much contained are you able to adapt to add or take away certain sports based on the activity and the needs of the students and of the teachers themselves? Uh, great question. We had our principal come about four years ago and he's uh, big into lacrosse and now we have a lacrosse program. Uh, it's flourishing. They're doing really well this year. Uh, they first started out without a win and now they're uh, second in their league. Uh, yeah, the need was there. Uh, the desire was there and uh, it's, it's going pretty good. So as long as you have the teachers and you have the students that are wanting to learn and have the need to play and learn into a league, it's great to have a collegiate program that's able to adapt. Yes.